We're all Bills Mafia right now. If you're watching this, send up prayers to Damar Hamlin, to whatever you believe in, because this is bigger than football, you know, after this, you know, unfortunate accident, after being tackled, after delivering a tackle um, in this key matchup, uh, Damar Hamlin collapsed on the field um, in a medical condition and right away, you know, you could clearly see that something, you know, you know, troubling happened, you know, Damar, you know, I don't know if you guys may or may not know, but he was a four-star recruit from Pittsburgh, decided to stay in Pittsburgh after having other options and choices to go other places, but he wanted to play for his hometown team, which meant a lot for him, you know, and, and now, you know, it, this is so heavy considering everything that's going on, you know, he's been drafted six round draft pick you know last year you know over the last eight games he's been you know possibly one of the best safeties in the game been playing really really well you know the kid local kid does good come home does charity work all that great stuff and which is which is what the game is about right it's about being able to provide opportunity for your mom for for your people and and mean more to your city. And this is a guy, you know, from all appearances has been doing the right things. And to have this tragedy, you know, it's a time to bring people together. Even the NFL, who rarely gets these things right from my perspective, uh, along with the Players Association, decided to cancel the game, which is the absolute, absolute right thing to do. Um, and, and as of right now, it's unknown. We know he's in critical condition. Um, he's been intubated, all this kind of stuff. I'm no doctor or anything like that. So I'm not going to pretend to be one in the situation, but I am going to be a person who's going to be able to send some prayers and thoughts and well wishes to him, his family, his friends, his close one. And like I said before, I think this is the perfect way to describe it. We're just all Bills Mafia right now. Um, seeing Cincinnati fans out at the stadium out of the hospital you know this is a time for us to as a as a sporting community as a as a community in terms of you know football fans to come together um because this this is heartbreaking you know in a very real way but you know even in these type of situations always that one bonehead who comes and does some stupid so i i think it's important to read these tweets and not necessarily for canceling anyone or anything but even in the most tragic moments people can lose the plot and we got to call them out on it not for the sake of anything but it's the right thing to do and to be aware in other moments when these things happen when people want to bring up something that's really irrelevant especially when someone's life is in danger right now in a very real way um, and somebody who, it doesn't even matter what has happened on the other side of it. It's just his life's in danger. That's full stop. So I'm going to take the time, show you some of these comments and these tweets only because of that reason, because I think it's important because life matter, people's matter. And anytime we lose sight of that, we can't allow for that to ever be the narrative, regardless of the situation. So Skip Bayless, you know, with one of the most boneheaded tweet. Let's let's read this comment, you know. No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game. But how? This late in the season, the game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. That's not good enough to add that suddenly seems so irrelevant at the end of the day. Sports isn't... It's an escape from the real world. It's, it's not a, a call for us to stand... It's not, it's no way, this isn't a call and this isn't an opportunity to talk about a football game when somebody's life is in the balance. And I think this is irresponsible. I think it's irresponsible journalism to behave and to act that way, especially in a situation like this. 
And then obviously, considering that, there are some, you know, people felt pretty upset by this. And I don't think there should be a safe space for anyone to condone this type of behavior under any circumstance when someone whose life is on the line or even when someone's lost their life because this comes bigger than all those outside circumstances. Jack Dunlap, Jack Courage Dunlap. Wow, this is disgusting. Dusty Baker, come on, Skip. This is life versus the game. I'm sorry, but this is your worst take ever. And Skip has had some pretty horrible takes. So I must say this is pretty uh, terrible. I hope they fire you, bro. For you to even think of the game is very sad. You're a sick individual, real talk. Uh, Vincino, um, you know, coming out, you know, he's got no shame. I don't, you know what I mean? This is shameless. And I think that's the word that has to be said. And that's what has to be called out. Brian Coppler, uh, Brady Coppler, excuse me. I really don't want to give you a gross tweet any more attention, but I do want to let you know that almost every single person in this industry thinks you are a gutless, spineless, tiny little coward of a man who is awful at his job and at being a human being. I don't, I don't, this is terrible. And I'm not going to call him out because Skip has been who he is a long time. And he's made a lot of money. And a lot of people have supported even some of his most outrageous tweets. I get it. But there's a line he crossed with this, right? He's always been gutless and spineless, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? You can't have it, you know, oh, I want to have somebody who has hot takes and then come out on the other side. But there's a life on the line, right? There's a life on the line. So you can't pile on for other beasts you have. You got to focus on this, this situation, this issue. This is what's important. There's no game this week. They could just move it to Thursday. Who gives a fuck? Excuse my French. When the game is. They could never not play it. Not saying that they won't. Not saying they will. But that's just my spin on it. All you care about is football. When DeMar Hamlin's life. Uh, coming from you. I expect more. This tweet is not you. You of all people should know better. Darrell Reeves. At what point in Skip's life. Would even. Or what he's done. Would make you think he can do better. At what point. Right? He's a shock jock. He's a shock jock. He's getting paid millions to be a shock jock. Been that way. But that's the thing. You condone other takes like this when people's lives have been in the balance. When people's livelihood has been on the balance. Right? Patrick Peterson, come on. You know, that's my spin on it. Number one thing, you know, Whatever you have or pray to, send those prayers up toward him and his family. Give them all the well wishes. No, the game doesn't matter whether they play it or whether they don't. I, I'm completely indifferent. I'm not saying I know no football will go on. I'm not saying that the world won't even go on, right? Because it will. It clearly will. But in this moment, at this time, we need to make space for humanity. And that's the key. So... Thank you guys for uh, joining me in on this. I really appreciate it, but I just had to share my thoughts after this event, um, after those comments. I don't think it's okay, but more importantly, I want everyone to send prayers and well wishes towards the family and toward Damar. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the flip. Peace.